All right, so you know Apple just came out with a ton of new M1, you know, either Mac Minis or MacBooks running that brand new chip. They run super fast when the software has been optimized for the M1 chip, but how do you know what software has been optimized for the M1 chip? And that's what we're going to find out. All right, so in this video, it's going to be a quick video. What we're going to do is we're just going to learn. So let's say you just bought an M1 chip, uh, either a MacBook or a Mac Mini, and you want to know if the apps you're running have been optimized for that M1 chip. Keep in mind that if they're optimized for the M1 chip, they're going to fly. They're going to be very, very fast. You've seen benchmarks. Watch some of my other videos. The M1 chip is super fast. Now, if, it's if it hasn't been optimized, it, should be, it will be able to run, in most cases, on both the Intel systems, the older systems, and the new M1 chips. And the way that they go about doing that is Apple created a system where they can emulate uh, any of the Intel-based software over to the M1, and they call that Rosetta 2. That's the name of the emulation software that they've kind of coded into there. So, and the thing that the beauty of it is, these things are so fast, the new M1 chips, that even if they're running Rosetta 2 and they're you know, not optimized for the M1 chip, they're generally faster than the older applications that ran on Intel. You know? But if they're optimized for the M1 chip, you're seeing these benchmarks just go crazy, and they're super, super fast. All right, so Apple created this process, and this is kind of just, just a bunch of stuff you don't even need to know, but it's called Universal Binary 2. And that basically means that when, it's, when it's been processed, the application for university, Universal Binary 2, that means it's been optimized for the M1 chip. Now, if they haven't done that, and, it, and it's only you know, been optimized for the older Intel chips, that, that's, that emulation software, what they're doing is they're basically converting um, x86 code over to the, uh, you know, using the Rosetta 2 software to, so that it can run basically in the M1 system. Long story short, we don't even need to know that. What, we, what this video is all about is just knowing, has the software been optimized? Is it running at peak performance for my new M1 chip? Um, and there's a lot of different ways you can find this out. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to just look it up basically on your system. If you're running an M1 system, I'm gonna show you how to, you know, it's gonna, I'm gonna show you how to look at all your apps at once. I'm gonna show you how to look at individual apps. And there's also a website you can go to right now that'll show you, you know, if you wanna go out and check, maybe you haven't bought an M1 system yet, and you wanna go out and check to see which apps, you know, right now have been, you know, changed over to the M1 system, just so you know, is it worth buying it right now? Because you want to run at that faster speed. So that's kind of just a website you can go to, which I'll show you. And then we'll, you know, that'll be basically the video. So stay tuned and we'll get into this. Hopefully this is a little bit more interesting than the, the setup here. Let's go. All right. So if you're on your new M1 Mac, all you have to do to find out if an application has been optimized for the M1 is just follow the system. Go up to the Apple icon, select about this Mac, and then you get this screen and then go ahead and click on the button there I have pointed to that's system report. And this should come up. Now on the left hand side you want to click on applications. See it down there on the left hand side where the white arrow is. And then the screen on the right should pop up. And what you can see here is all your applications. They're all going to be listed out for you. On the right hand side though there's a category called kind. See it there? And that's actually going to be what you want to look for. So any of those applications that say universal, that means that they've been optimized for both Intel and, you know, and the M1. So universal is what you really want there. Well, the ones that say Intel are the ones that are going to have to use Rosetta uh, 2 for the trans, you know, transcoding. And then, you know, the, the iOS or iOS apps. But basically universal is the one that has been modified to work for the M1. So those are the ones that have been modified and should run the fastest for you. Now, if you're on an M1 enabled Mac, again, running that chip, you can go ahead and pull up Finder if you want to look at individual apps. And then once you're in Finder, pull up the Applications menu here. And then you just basically right click on the application you want to find and then click Get Info right there. What that's going to do is that's going to pull up in a window and it's going to show you the kind. Look under the General tab for kind. It should be in there. Now, there's also a website you can go to. It's called IsAppleSiliconReady.com. You can see it there. It'll tell you if an app has been converted already. All right, so here's the website. It's, again, once again, it's called isappleSiliconReady.com, and you can go ahead and check this out. Just log into it. It does show you all different apps in here. You can, you know, there's rows. It's 274 apps right now, and it tells you if it's been optimized or not. The nice thing with this one is, like, let's just say I'm in here and I want to go ahead and see um, Adobe. Be help if I could spell. Adobe Photoshop there. So as I type that in, you can see Adobe Photoshop does come up, Adobe Developer. And then you can click on this little thing. You can see it says it's using Rosetta 2. See that little, so that means it's not optimized is my guess. I'm gonna click on this little thing. It says, is Adobe Photoshop Apple Silicon ready? Not yet, Adobe Photoshop. It says the app works on Rosetta 2. And then there's some more info here on that, which is gonna take you off. 
to another website that gives you a lot of more information on this, which we're not going to get into, but you get the idea how this app works. So you can go back and you can check out. Now, most of the, all the Apple apps that like, you know, iMovie and stuff, those have already been converted, so they're not even going to be on here. These are going to be third-party apps that we're talking about, um, like Airfoil and, you know, Photo Re um, Revive Agenda. So if you click on this, it says, yes, 11.2. So it has been, you know, it has been ready. So anyways, you can use this website if you don't have the M1 yet just to check because you really need the M1 to check the other ways that I showed you how. And this is only if you really don't have it or if you want to check for some apps that you really don't have yet. All right, well, there you have it. So it's really simple. All you have to do is, you know, one of those three things and you can find out if it's actually been optimized. Um, you know, again, what we're seeing on benchmarks is, you know, even using Rosetta 2 where it has not been optimized, you know, they seem like they're running faster on the M1, the old software applications, than they are on, you know, the ones that I just bought, uh, my two, mid-2020 that I'm running, which is an Intel-based i5. So, you know, you're not losing too much either way, and, and this may not be the, you know, the biggest thing you need to know right now, but it's interesting to see wh what they're actually optimizing. Again, there's some applications, there's some notifications out there that some things aren't working 100% yet because of the Rosetta translation and also some software developers needed to you know, do some different things with the software. So you're getting into some bugs here and there. And again, I told you, you know, you may want to wait six months to have those bugs kind of hashed out. I think they will be. But if you don't want to wait and you want to know what applications, you know, it's usually the core applications, you know, like iMovie or, you know, Final Cut Pro, anything that's really Apple's probably already been converted to use the M1 chip. It's these other third party ones that are not. And that's the what you want to check. So like maybe Photoshop and stuff like that. Anyways, you guys know my channel. Um, I make a bunch of videos per week, uh, generally maybe three or four of them. Subscribe if you can. I'm a really small channel, so you can help me out just by subscribing, clicking the like but you know, button and sharing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.